Welcome back to Comic Book Historians. I'm Alex Grand, writer of Understanding Superhero Comic Books. And today I'm talking more about comic strips, specifically a couple created by the same writer, Lee Falk. He created Mandrake the Magician and The Phantom. Both important, both proto superheroes that are predating Superman's first appearance, and both serve as precursors to Doctor Strange and also Batman. Now, of course, I love Mandrake. He's a magician who plays with the minds of readers. You don't know whether he's doing true magic or if they're illusions, dimension hopping, growing long, growing small, whatever. But today I want to speak specifically more about the Phantom. Drawing inspiration from the 1926 Douglas Fairbanks film, The Black Pirate, Falk imbued the Phantom with a similar backstory of avenging a father's death and using a unique ring as part of the hero's identity. The Phantom, like Mandrake, was not just a visually compelling character, but also a vehicle for Falk's exceptional storytelling talent. From the start, Falk envisaged the Phantom in shades of black, white, and gray, originally to be named the Grey Ghost. The name Phantom was used in pulps as far back as 1914, when the Grey Seal fought a villain called the Phantom. The Grey Ghost was Batman's childhood hero in the 1990s Batman animated series voiced by Adam West. This coloring decision was later overturned without his consent by a King feature colorist who chose to make the character's costume purple. Despite this unexpected alteration, the Phantom became an iconic figure, with Falk's gripping narratives and memorable one-liners adding depth to the visually striking character. First amazing quality of this strip is the dialogue. Many of the 1930s comic strip creators were artists, but it was Lee Falk who created the Phantom as its writer. The first run's art by Ray Moore is beautiful, but it is Lee Falk's dialogue that really shines from panel to panel. Look at this exchange between the Phantom and a jailer. As you know, I am a sensitive man, a man of culture and refinement. Well, naturally, as a leader of a cutthroat band of pirates, how could you be anything else? Incredible. The second quality that his strips had was dashing romance. Falk's Phantom was unafraid to engage with the opposite sex, a trait that brought an added dimension of relatability and humor to the strip. His interactions with his girlfriend Diana Palmer and the unexpected situations that arose provided some of the strip's most comedic moments. First, look at this 1941 Phantom Daily with art by Ray Moore. Moore's art was brilliant, and he had a special way of depicting beautiful women. Now look at this 1936 strip where the Phantom establishes himself as very forward with the opposite sex. Something interesting here is that he fully intends to marry his female love interest of the story, Diana Palmer, from the very beginning. Now Lee Falk's situational dialogue was classic. Look at this 1942 Phantom Daily where his adventure wingman questions the point of him even being in the scene as the hero and his girlfriend embrace. What am I doing here? Can you tell me that? Now look at this strange story that this old hermit of the desert gives the Phantom when it comes to advice about women in a Phantom Daily where he talks about how a woman once broke his heart, but he was okay with it because he later saw that she had gotten big and fat and had three children. She was so ugly, I pretended not to recognize her. Now, of course, this is tasteless, horrible comedy, but you gotta admit, it's a funny story for an old man to tell the young hero. But regardless of all the adversity the Phantom encountered, he maintained his charm through thick and thin. It's been years since I've kissed a man. Well, you don't seem to have lost your touch. <laughs> the third quality that Lee Falk always made sure to put in were beautiful damsels in distress. It's also the artist that he chooses to work with, especially in its early days with Ray Moore, whose pencils brought depth and detail to Falk's narratives. His talent for depicting beautiful women and creating dramatic wordless panels, often featuring the hero's girlfriend in peril, added another layer to the strip's appeal. 
The fourth quality, symbolism and suspense. One of the standout themes in Falk's portrayal of the Phantom was the hero's mastery of symbolism and superstition to instill fear in his enemies. This use of smoke and mirrors, which would later become a hallmark of Batman, was first expertly deployed by Falk in his Phantom strips. What are you? I'm Batman. Falk's Phantom was also a master of disguise, a feature that added a layer of intrigue and unpredictability to the character. Here is a fun daily from 1937 illustrating that the smoke and mirrors a non-powered hero uses to scare a superstitious person is a form of playing good politics. The fifth element of Lee Falk's writing, comedy. In The Phantom, Falk also explored the concept of the hero as a literary and comedic genius, using humor to diffuse tension and surprise readers. Falk and Moore's collaboration on The Phantom Strip produced numerous memorable moments, from the hero crawling through his lover's window for a midnight kiss and a stumbling upon her mother instead. The strip was filled with clever, funny, and often poignant moments that set it apart from its contemporaries. His use of witty one-liners, like this one from 1939, often as the Phantom faced down various villains, was reminiscent of 1980s action movies, adding another level of entertainment to the strip. Lee Falk's Phantom was comedic and literary genius. Here is a sequence of panels from his dailies in 1939, showcasing the hilarious action and tension between him and his girlfriend's kidnapper, a brawny antagonist who ended up enjoying the struggle. Yet for all the humor, action, and romance, the Phantom was also a figure of mystery and intrigue. His use of disguises, such as his clever impersonation of a judge, showcase his adaptability and cunning while also providing visual puns that delighted readers. Look at him with that hat. He's fooling even me. Now in crafting the Phantom, Lee Falk demonstrated his ability to blend humor, action, and suspense in a way that captivated readers and set new standards for the comic industry. Falk's Phantom left an indelible mark on the comic industry. His ability to pioneer action, comedy, suspense, Costume superheroism paved the way for future creators. Through his innovative storytelling, Lee Falk has for sure secured a place in comic book history as one of its most influential figures.